Quixote, the classic story of old Spain. Many, many years ago, in 16th century Spain, in an area known as La Mancha, there lay a quiet little village. And in the village, there was a large estate that belonged to a middle-aged gentleman named Alonzo Quijano. Instead of taking care of his estate, like most other gentlemen of the time, Alonzo Quijano preferred to read books about chivalry, about knights in shining armor. And the more he read, the more he envied the knights of old. They led such exciting lives. He imagined that he was a brave knight on a fast steed riding through the land, protecting... Sancho, I will become a brave knight and you my squire. We will ride through the land and uphold justice for all. He was very serious. He changed his name to Don Quixote and wore his great grandfather's armor. He then mounted a common plow horse and named it Rosinante. And along with his faithful squire, he was ready for his first adventure as a knight. morning as the sun was shining brightly over the farmlands of the village, there suddenly appeared a knight in shining armor and a squire riding through the countryside. Everyone stopped their work to have a look at this strange sight. They just couldn't believe their eyes. Sancho, there is much to do. We must push on. The work of a brave knight is never done. Don Quixote and Sancho had reached the end of their first day without incident. But Don Quixote dreamed of the adventures to come as they rode into the night. The people of the village thought that Don Quixote's behavior was very peculiar. Don Quixote and Sancho continued their ride through the countryside, when suddenly... Huh? Oh! What a lovely girl! Beautiful maiden, let me introduce myself. I am Don Quixote. Hello, I'm Aldonza. Why are you dressed so strangely? Strangely? Huh? Uh, 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 uh. Why, I am the brave knight of La Mancha. Oh, so you're the man I've been hearing about. Is there some kind of unrest in the land that has caused you to become a knight? Unrest? Why, there is much injustice. Yes. Aldanza gave him a rose. He realized that he was quite harmless. Our brave knight is a real gentleman. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Our heroes were soon on their way. Don Quixote was overjoyed at finding a beautiful maiden to protect. As they said farewell, he decided to rename her Dulcinea. The next morning, Don Quixote and Sancho were sleeping soundly beneath a large tree when suddenly... Huh? Ah, an enemy army approaching. Come, Sancho! Huh? As the dust cleared, Don Quixote and Sancho could see two groups of animals galloping to the center of the field. The enemy attack! Don Quixote charged. But wait, they're only sheep. Not for Don Quixote. He imagined an enemy army, and he went into action. Where are you? Show yourselves! Come out and fight like men, you sniveling cowards! Come on! Huh? I'll run you through, you evildoers! All of you! Let's go! Come on! from his horse. Is he all right? Huh? Come on, keep coming. I'll take you all on, you scoundrel.
upon some windmills that were spinning rapidly in the winds of the storm. Don Quixote and Sancho continued to struggle against the elements. The windmills, illuminated by the lightning, looked mysterious. And with Don Quixote's imagination, these huge spinning mechanical structures could appear to be almost anything. Sancho, my lance! Sancho couldn't understand why Don Quixote wanted his lance, but being the faithful companion that he was, he brought his master the weapon. He looked at his master and then for the enemy. But he saw no one. Just the windmill standing tall against the flashing lightning and crackling thunder. But the grimly determined Don Quixote, focusing on the pinwheel-like effect of the nearest windmill, used his great imagination to slowly turn it into a frightening vision. The vision grew and grew until it was clearly a giant monster standing directly in his path. Don Quixote studied the enemy. And as he looked closely at the monster, it raised its hand, and in it he saw... Dulcinea! Help! Help me! Help! I will save help you! Me. Master! Don Quixote bravely charged the windmill. But to him, that windmill was the giant monster who had captured his love, Dulcinea. Unhand her! Help! I'm coming! Fear not! Oh, please! Evil creature, you shall feel my lance! Don Quixote. He had steered the sail of the windmill, and it had hurled him into the air. And so our brave knight had come to the end of another imaginary adventure. The next day, the sails of the windmills turned peacefully from a cool, steady breeze. The sky was clear, and the air was fresh and clean from the fallen rain. It was a fine day, but not for our friend. Our brave knight had suffered his first defeat, and loyal Sancho led his injured master home to nurse his wounds. Don Quixote believed that some kind of evil magic had turned that giant into a windmill. Oh! Don Quixote was weary. What happened? Huh? Oh, my Dulcinea. I'm so glad you're safe. I would fight all the giants in the land for you. Oh, Don Quixote, you'll never see the world as others do. When the townspeople laughed, Don Quixote was unconcerned. He returned to his home with Sancho and with the lovely Dulcinea by his side. He enjoyed reading to her and the local children from his book of chivalry. Hmm. But what's this? And There's so something the wrong. Knight. Don Quixote seems shocked at what he's reading. What could be upsetting him so? Sancho! Huh? Bring my armor and prepare my mount. There is too much injustice in the land for us to rest. Onward we'll march, fighting for justice uh, forever! <sighs> and so, once again, our brave knight donned his armor and along with his faithful squire, was ready for battle. They galloped away, determined to right the wrongs of the land. Don Quixote would not let anything stop him from fulfilling his dream of becoming a brave knight. The lesson to be learned from the unusual behavior of our brave knight is one of perseverance. And that simply means when you really want to do something very badly, never ever give up, no matter how difficult things may seem. Because if you truly believe in your dream, you can make it come true.